John Hagen will be the new pitcher for the Western New England Golden Bears. Tyler Canoe will be the first batter to face him. Hawks lead 10-6 here in the bottom half of the seventh with two outs and two on. Cano strokes that one foul. Hogan had nine appearances in the regular season. 3-2-1 ERA started one of those games. Two decisions. He split them one and one. A one outside. One and one. Game two of the Commonwealth Coast Conference playoffs tomorrow. Time to be determined upon the conclusion of this game. Check SalveSeahawks.com or FansOnlySports.com as that one will advance the runners. And as always, you can follow us on Instagram at F-O-S-P-O-R-T-Z. Two on count. Second and third now. Cano out into right will end the inning. And the dirt for ball one. Seahawks trailed by three at 1.41, fought it back. To 4-4, four, four. it sort of seesawed its way to 6-all, and then all of a sudden, the seventh inning proved fruitful for the Seahawks as they exploded this one at 10-6. That's just what the Seahawks offense has done all year. Good pitching gives the Seahawks offense a chance. And when you put up 10 runs, you usually win the game especially with the pitching the Seahawks have. That one will go right to center field and out number one. Good piece there from Homa, just unlucky. Worst feeling as a hitter, you get all of the baseball. It's just right at the defense. Will McCarthy comes to the plate. And the Seahawks bullpen is quiet. As McCarthy fouls that one back for strike one, are they going to let Arrigo just finish this out? It's very possible. We've seen Captain Tommy Del Vecchio moving around in the bullpen. He was throwing, but he's stopped. He's still walking around. That one is going to get out into right field and a base hit. From another, McCarthy. Another good piece from McCarthy. Uh, McCarthy on first for Mike Breen. McCarthy makes it two for four, brings up Breen, who's two for three. Up and outside, 1-0. Both Breen and McCarthy tripled in their last game. Two and out. That one will get fouled well wide in two and one. That 
out into the yard of a house that I'll have if I ever win the Powerball. <laughs> Well, we'll count two and two. There are some beautiful mansions in Newport. Absolutely. And a lot of beautiful boats, too. 100%. <laughs> that one's fouled for two and two. If you ever get a chance to visit Newport, you'll drive in on America's Cup Boulevard, aptly named. Newport, home of the America's Cup, USA Sailing, and the International Tennis Hall of Fame. Swung through for strike three, and we get two outs in the inning. I believe there's a sailing race this weekend, actually. It's actually the reason why Salve graduation is pushed back a week farther than most colleges that you know been a common complaint around campus. <laughs> yeah, Sail GP just finished last week and in San Francisco. Absolutely wicked racing. Down and outside for ball number one. Got boats moving as fast as cars on water. It's just absolutely bonkers to watch that stuff on TV. That's going to get popped up. Tracking over, tracking over. Nobody knows where it is. And it just drops for a double. Both middle infielders nowhere to be seen. So Petrosino able to just trot right into second base. But like we were saying, we were talking about sailing. There's the Bermuda Triangle between the third baseman, shortstop, and left fielder. And Nobody knows where to go. Two men on in scoring position for the Seahawks. Good spot here with two outs in the inning. If the Seahawks can add a little bit more insurance, they've got a four-run lead. Largest any side has had this game. And strike one. Donovan's only at bat. All right, check that at Shane Williams. So they kept Williams in that spot where he pinched hit. Makes sense as Donovan actually entered the game for Grover. Ah uh, yes, because they moved, they moved everybody around in the outfield. Correct. Back a couple frames ago, Williams pinch hit for Messina. And between innings, Donovan entered the game for Grover. So Donovan in the two spot in the order if we get there again. Outside in the count two and two. Ideally, we don't get there again. The Seahawks close this one out, but who knows if the offense keeps flowing. Outside, count full three and two. Dustin Sakeda in the on-deck circle. And a full count, three and two, two outs. In the dirt, walks him. Bases loaded for Cicada. Cicada wore one, his last at bat. To drive in one of the many runs back in the seventh. I say back in the seventh, like it was a while ago. The last <laughs> frame we had. It, it was a while ago, time-wise. <laughs> As we move in on almost three hours of baseball. 
That one outside for ball one, not to be confused by the hockey team that was yelling ball five. <laughs> A little fun with the pitcher. Fouled back for one and one. Western New England is going to put action in the bullpen. Or they're just staying warm in the shade, either or. Tough spot to be. Way out and left. One one to Sakata. That one will float out into right and end the inning. 